ball right. on the road at home. How cool is it to be yeah. you know, on a mental basis, even though you're on the losing side, being in atmospheres now that you're feeding off the energy of people? Right, it's it's great, man. This is like when you walk in here and nobody is for you, that's a beautiful thing. And the thing that you want to do is hear that silence at the end instead of those cheers. You know, and like the cheers like leaving it. But I, you know, I thought Maryland did a really good job. You always hear people get mad on court scores. Um, and we've lost three games, but, but five last year. So we've had eight court storms in two years. So Maryland's, Maryland's winning in their security. They're number one. They, right the so they kicked our ass, and they kicked our ass in the court storm. So, but no, I thought they did a really good job. And that's just, you know, just professional. Like just trying to help us and Kevin was great there at the end because the, the time worked perfectly where we could get that and get out of there and um, a couple of our guys got pinballed at Northwestern and that was a, kind of a tough deal but it, it's hard like right like you know so you can't practice that with your security and everybody but I thought this atmosphere was great uh, I think all the atmospheres and environments we got a chance to play Penn State and Northwestern I mean that was cool man I've never been there like that was unbelievable like that was that was and it was cool we won um, <laughs> but like, no, it's, um, you know, I've had a couple people come after me, like from a job standpoint, I always just think, will it be better than, than that right there every single night? And I don't know, I think that answer is no, it, it won't be. I mean, this is big time. Going to Northwestern, losing, going to Indiana, losing, going, hey man, you know, you, you got to have some toughness. You got to have a backbone. You got to go. You got to be, but that's what you want. You know, you want it to sharpen. You want it to make you better. Um, no, I love this league. This league's great. You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. <laughs> I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Forgates. We make your company work. I'm Martha Smith with Viner Forgates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. Coach, uh, right here. Uh, it seemed like Braden really came out hot there and then yeah. slowed down. What do you think changed there probably about halfway through the second half? Well, I, you know, Trying to get him to be aggressive, like we knew they'd come up in their transition when they were man, and really try to get to Zach like they did the first game. And so we just told him to try to drive the basketball as much as possible and get in there and use his dribble through the playoff of two feet if he doesn't have something for himself. But, you know, I like his aggressiveness. I thought he did some good things. Um, I think a lot of that credit needs to go to Maryland and also our inability to make a shot. So, like, now when you're not making shots, now you can kind of come in with that gap help and then try to load up right there. So, thought they did a good job there, you know, just kind of keeping him out of the paint. Even though he got in there some, he didn't get in there as much. Um, then he had a couple more, he missed them that I thought were okay shots. It just didn't go down really well. But I can give a lot of credit though. I thought Maryland's defense really picked up at that time. They kind of ratcheted things up. Coach, you mentioned that you guys had a lot of 
And how, how would you assess life in this contract, conference, night in, night out? Well, right now it stinks for me. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, it's part of it. You know, I've, I've been in this league for, you know, as a player and a coach and, you know, 23 years. So you, you see the ups and you see the downs and, you know, um, it's really hard to go on the road, you know, more than anything. Like the venues, and this was, the students were great. Um, I was hoping it was that early start and kind of trickle in, um, you know, for a while. But I know it's tough in, in, in a metropolitan area like this to put that 6.30 start. But, um, you know, it's just difficult. Like, you know, there's times as a coach where you feel like, you know, you can beat anybody. And there's times like you don't feel like you can beat anybody. But it's just you never kind of in that middle ground. Um, but you also got to understand, you know, being on the road, you got to be about 10, 12 points better than your opponent. And we were not that tonight. And give them credit for that. But it's a it's a fabulous league. You know, when you look at the attendance, number one attendance conference since 1976. When I was a kindergarten. So um, it just kind of shows you, you know, to the league and how difficult things are. And Maryland's been great. You know, Maryland has been really, really good for our conference. You know, from a basketball standpoint, you know, I can't talk for all sports with that. No. Um, but they've been really, really good. They've been a great team. They've been competitive. And Kevin's going to do. The biggest difference in a truck accident versus a car crash is the investigation that the lawyer has to do right from the beginning of the case. Number one is obtaining the logbooks of the driver to show that the driver was not rested properly according to federal law. Uh, investigating through the black box and getting an expert to figure out from the black box of the truck the speed of the truck or where the truck had been. Usually you have catastrophic injuries involved with tractor trailers as well. So it's a different ball game. And if people are injured in a truck crash, they really, really need to find a lawyer that knows what he's doing with truck crashes. He's doing it right now. You, you mentioned multiple times about the shooting. Fletcher had kind of struggled tonight. Yes. Was that defensively? Did you like the looks he was giving? He was just missing? Yeah. What was your I, I think a couple of them. Like, you know, he needed to probably pass out. Like, he was driving the basketball the one time when he got that block on him at the basket. Getting deep against size, you got to be careful. You know, you got to get the belt downs or the spray outs and try to get that. But, like, you know, he went through this a little bit in, in non conference. And I just told our team, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm not in the business of taking bad players. Like, you know, I'm, I'm going to take good basketball players, but we have skilled guys. I'm not going to allow people to consistently shoot shots that they've never made before. He's a big time shooter. Uh, he's going to be a great player for us. He's a great player right now. But we had this stretch, not just with him, but with a handful of our guys at nine conference. And everybody, you know, called in the radio show, like, why are you doing this? Why are you like doing it? Because I believe it. I believe it. I believe they're going to make shots. But, you got to be able to generate enough good shots. And I, and I thought tonight, you know, we, we had some good looks that we needed to knock down, but we didn't have a bunch of them because I thought Maryland's defense was pretty good. Go ahead. And things have kind of gotten a little off kilter with three of the last four games, mm -hmm. a little bit of a rough stretch. Yes. How do you, as the coach, get it back together before the Big Ten tournament starts? Yeah, just your preparation. Like, it's, it's, I'm not really worried about the Big Ten tournament. I'm worried about the NCAA tournament. Because, yeah, you don't get judged on that one, the Big Ten tournament. So, um, you know, just you know, stay process based. You know, believe in your team, but all of a sudden be honest about what's going on. Like we, you know, we got to be tougher. Like we can't shore up turnovers and then not rebound. Like you got to, you got to come in here and win the possession battle. You know, you got to have more rebounds in, and you got fewer turnovers. Now you can start right there and really work towards something. We didn't do that, and, and so when you get on the road, you have fewer turn, you have fewer possessions, and now you don't shoot well. Oh, that's going to be a long night for some quality.